So you want to win more puck battles. Well, we're going to go over three things that you can do to win more puck battles. We're going to put together the mechanics and we're going to compare to Sidney Crosby on how you can win more puck battles, but then also when you do, make sure that you're also protecting the puck. So the first thing is understanding a concept known as the hip wall. Now the hip wall is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's the wall that your hips make when you put the puck in the right position. So if I have a defender right here on me and I have the puck here, I'm creating a hip wall. It's as simple as that. I literally cannot, I have my hips in a place where the defender cannot get the puck. If I have a defender still here and then I do this, well, I don't have a hip wall anymore. Uh, they can just take the puck. So I'm not protecting the puck. I might be able to deke from this perspective, but it's higher risk and I'm not actually protecting the puck. So if a defender's over there, my hips are here, no hip wall. Defender over here, my hips are here, hip wall. The best NHLers, really all NHLers, I noticed that NHLers are much better at this than say junior players or the second and first line NHLers are better than the third and fourth line NHLers at creating hip walls. Which brings me to my second point, which is understanding the mechanics of creating the hip wall. So if you think that the hip wall is the main concept, the main thing that you need to do to create puck protection and then to win battles, then you need to know the mechanics of that. Now we've put together those mechanics in something called the downhill skating system. And we've created a free training for you to get a little sample of what the downhill skating system is. And you can click the link here or at the end of the video to learn more about that. But back to the lesson at hand, the downhill skating system mechanics put together allow you to create the hip wall. So the first one, and we see Crosby use this a lot, is something called the 10 and two. So I'll just do the 10 and two in place like this. That's just the 10 and two there. Uh, some people call it the mohawk. Some people call it the heel to heel, uh, but that's the main mechanic. Now, how can that be used? Well, that can be used against the boards. So for example, if the puck is there and there's another defender coming, I can use that 10 and two to quickly pick up the puck this way. What that allows me to do is allows me to reach, escape the puck, and then also create a hip wall all at once. So I can be here, boom, like that. And I can use it both ways. The puck is here, I can hip wall, boom, the other way. We see Crosby do that all the time. So it's not just about winning the puck battle, it's also about escaping after it. The second mechanic is something that we call the shuffle. Uh, and this is a big differentiator. If, if the 10 and two is Crosby's differentiator, the shuffle is like the every person, the every man NHLer's differentiator. They seem to be much better at this than lower levels is that they can pick a puck up in a shuffle, meaning that they can pick it up on their outside edge with their head in the correct position so that they can make a play. They're just better at it. So what that looks like is here, a little puck here, and then they're picking it up like this. Now you might be saying, hey, these are just puck pickup things. This isn't puck battles, but really these are puck battles because a lot of the time you and the other person are going towards the puck and if you have the right mechanic to be able to get it out of there better than the other person, you're gonna win that puck battle. So those are two downhill skating mechanics that when you apply it to puck battles, you end up winning more puck battles. The third is like kind of a hack, kind of like a good defensive habit. It's about not winning puck battles at all. It's about something called the bump. Okay, so the bump is, let's say there's a loose puck there and you and your, uh, and your opponent are battling for that puck. Instead of actually even trying to win the puck, you simply create a little bump on the puck to move it five, 10 feet away from that defender to uh, your teammate. So that's the third way, is just to learn this little skill of having a puck, seeing it there and not, if you can win it with your mechanics, great, you win it with your mechanics. If not, using that little bump to bump it 10 feet, five feet out of their reach so that a teammate can come in 
and th then use their mechanics to do it. Now you do need to have good teammates for this, and it's not always going to be the case where you're going to win that puck battle, but it takes it from a situation where maybe you can't get it to putting it in a better situation where a teammate can get it. So those are three things for puck protection. The first, like I said, is understanding the hip wall concept. The second is understanding the mechanics that tie into the hip wall concept, allowing you to have the hip wall concept. And third, like I said, is not necessarily about winning puck battles yourself, but helping your team win puck battles. And that is that five to 10 foot bump that you can practice. Now, if you wanna go back to that second step, which is learning the mechanics to enable the hip wall, like I said, those are the downhill skating mechanics, which we've put together in something called the downhill skating system. And we have a free training for that if you wanna explore, if you wanna check that out and start to learn that. So I welcome you to that. I invite you to join and click and check that training out. We'll see you then. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something new.